Hello YouTube, how are you doing? This is potentially the final episode of our Dredge adventure. It's been a long time, many, many hours sunk into, see what I did there, sunk into building our ship up, gathering the relics, finding spooky fish and uncovering the mysteries behind the fog. And it kind of feels like it's all coming to this kind of climax at the moment. So I hope you enjoy this half. I'll try that again. Hope you enjoy watching this half as much as I enjoy playing it. So let's stay spooky and dive straight in. Almost professional. Almost. Continue. Uh, I'm going to turn that up on our. There we go. How's that sound? That sounds all right. Yeah, that sounds down on my ears, in my ear holes. My ear holes are a bit. This this feels in the wrong place now. <laughs> there we go. Right. So, if I remember correctly, we've just gathered the last relics. Holy crap! And we need to go to the collector. And I didn't want to do it because we literally finished. We literally got the last relics with five minutes to spare on the stream. So I didn't want to do that. And I thought, well, maybe we'll do other stuff. But I don't really know what other stuff there is to do, if that makes sense. I want to kind of have a look at what else we can do. Because I know on... Oh, I'm reading Haggling and Bartering. I know on this one. Oops. No, no. I want... I want pursuits. There we go. So I've got like three pursuits left, and then I'll have done a lot of things. Catch a tarpon. Who am I catching a tarpon for? Between wait, I met a person in oh in purple a purple robe person. New tablets. I don't know what that is. Catch rare fish. Catch a Goliath tiger fish. I don't know where that is. Yes. So yeah, so part of me, part of me really wants to go to the end, but I have a feeling that if I go to the end, I'm not going to do, that's it, it's going to be over for me, so. Oh, I forgot I upgraded the boat's engines. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, can I? What am I... Do? No, no, don't do that. What am I doing? What am I trying to do? What am I trying to do now? I've got my bait. I've got my map. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, God. There we go. I can get rid of that. And I can get rid of that now. Excellent. Oh, I left my crab pots over in Devil's Spine. Oh, and Twisted Strand. Oh, God. Twisted Strand was... Oh, no. Twisted Strand wasn't as bad as Devil's Spine, was it? Devil's Spine was one with a horrible fish. Giant fish turns up to investigate the noise disturbances nearby. <laughs> it's the end of the last stream where I got eaten to death on the edge of the sea because I needed to know what was there. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So I don't know where to catch a giant enemy crab. No. Tarpon. I know where to catch a tarpon. I think it's a mangrove. Fish. So we'll, I'm going to go and catch one of those for the purple in the purple person in the purple robes, not purple in the purple sun robes. It was a great thumbnail. That was a good thumbnail. I'm using that. I'm 100% using that for that video. You won't believe what this fish did to me. And then that scene isn't going to be in the video. Such, such clickbait. Bait, get it? Bait, because fish. Uh, map. I want to go to here. Twisted Strong. So northwest is where I want to go. <laughs> the exact opposite way to where I'm going right now. Meow. I'm so speedy. <laughs> Clickbait. No, be fish bait. Oh. I forgot about the ghost farts. Oh my god, I'm so quick in the water. <laughs> I completely forgot how quick I was. No, thank you. 
Ah, here's the, and I, ah, there's the pontoon. God, I'm here already. Good grief. I could probably easily outrun most of the ghost ships that are on here now. You know, the giant anglerfish that disguise themselves as, as uh, ships. Is this where I want to go? Yeah, Ricky's pontoon. Spelouche. Yeah, 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 I didn't actually... I didn't actually put my lights on. They're just fucking random. Like, it's a ghost event on board the boat. Don't panic. <laughs> Bonk. Okay, let's rest until morning. Because he's a little bit panicked. That'll, that'll do you. That'd be weak. We. While I'm here, I may as well get these crab pots. Are these going to be empty? Oh, no, they're not. Good. Uh, take all and pick up. There you go. And take up and pick up. Oh, not of space. Ram docking speed. <laughs> Just instantaneous handbrake. That's what it is. Uh, fish market. Yeah, buy all that. Thanks. I've also got some other fish. Oh no, did I get their fish out of this? Yes, I did. I just need the thing. Good, good, good. All right, so I need a tarpon, which I'm pretty sure was around here somewhere. So now this should be safe, right? There's no mine suckers anymore. Is this a tarpon? That's not a tarpon. That's a gar. That was one of my favourite characters in Breath of Fire Three. Gar. Oh, I turn that down, smidge, haven't I? Just a smidge, not much, just a smidge. A smidge is both a unit of measurement, length, distance, amount, and time. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Got it. Uh, you're a grey mullet. If I still had hair, I would have that too. Uh, you are a gar as well, again, aren't you? Pow. I don't know, is a thingy going to be a thingy? God, that's that's excellent, isn't it? How does a smidge, how does a smidge relate to a shit ton? Oh, you so there's so many smidges to a shit ton. Uh, the, it's phenomenal. That is a I was say sturgeon fish. Then it's not a sturgeon. It's a sergeant fish. Need a tarpon. <laughs> I love that noted down hero. I think that's adorable. I want one of those with a ghost. I genuinely want one of those with a ghost. <laughs> a tarpon, yes. Right, where am I going? Uh, catch a top on. I met a person in purple robes on the island between Twisted Strand and Stella Basin. Between Twisted Strand and Stella Basin. There. Okay, so I'm dead south from here. Not just south. Dead south. Which is also different to due south. Oh my god, I'm too fast to do that manoeuvre. Uh, I don't know if I can get out here. Well, I'm gonna try. Meow. Hard to start board. Hard to something port. Hard to floating trees. That, that was weird. Uh, right, which way is it now? Slightly this way. There we go. Is there an undead south? Probably. Probably. It's Triffids. How are you doing, Triffids? Uh, Holes and horror, just what you need to soothe my Hugo drama jangled nerves. Hugo drama jangled nerves? <gasps> it spilled the tea. What's going on? Are you, are you okay? Do you need a do you need a friend? Do you need to <laughs> Do you need to spill some beans? Well, we are gonna be Oh my god, I'm going so quick. I might miss this person. We are gonna be hunting down Oh, there's a castle! Wait, is that thingy? Is that the basin? That's nah, the basin. That's fine. That's crap. Uh, we're going to be playing the rest of Dredge. I'm pretty certain we're going to finish it tonight. This person's not on this. Instructions unclear. Knocked over a nearby mug. <laughs> mug of tea on the table. Uh, humans are now mad at me. You're angry on other people's behalf. I hate that. Not like I hate it, I hate it for you because I do that myself. I'm like, if stuff happens to me, I, I rarely care. I'm going to get an actual not fish munching uh thumbnail there we go <laughs> like if something happens to me i don't i'm all right with it but if something happens to like my wife or something i am furious 
and raining down hellfire. I have missed the boat. I've missed the bloody island. I've gone to the wrong... I'm on the wrong island. But yeah, I'm sorry you're, uh, you're, you're angry, Triffids. Hopefully, this will this will help you chill out a little bit. It's not quite observation duty style games. You know, we haven't played one of them in a while, to be honest with you. I still want to go back to Parrot Eyes at some point. Uh, are you? No. Are you the giant enemy crab? What is this? You are a giant enemy crab. You can fuck off, mate. Oh, I found a... I got a, a, a... I've done a reading just as I um, met that person, met that crab. Where is said person? There you are. Hello. Feed the mouth. Oh, I need to turn my thing off. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. I could have done with turning my lamp off before doing this. They eat the heart. Yep, good. Sustain the mind. This is a horseshoe crab. Oh, I had one of those. No. You bastard. Off. Uh, do you reckon I'm going to find one here? I don't reckon I'm going to find one here. I reckon I'm going to find one up here. Meow. Ghost farts on the distance. Da, 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 da. I'd love it if I was going so fast that, like, I did little jumps. That would be awesome. Ghost farts. Oh, okay. Now I may have... Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoopsie. I may have done a stupid... <laughs> I've uh, gone completely the wrong way. I'm certain I wasn't going the wrong way, though. I mean, I'm clearly not that certain, but I'm certain I wasn't going the wrong way. I thought I was going in at least, you know, a legible direction. Right? I mean, right? Oh, get knotted, mate. I can go faster than you can. <laughs> ah, see ya. Uh, right, pontoon, 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 pontoon. There we go. It's the parking sensor. Brace for impact. Only joking. It's got automatic brakes. Uh, right, maybe a bit of rest for a bit because he's he's going a bit crackers. Uh, shipyard. I need you to repair this. Thanks very much. Now I need to just go. Uh, 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 it's that one. A bloop. And a bloop. And now we play the waiting game. Nyam. You know how Prince Justin and others were ruled ineligible for the 2023 Hugo Awards? Turns out they weren't actually censored by the Chinese, Americans and Canadian Committee. Uh, members compiled dossiers on writers who might have offended China and preemptively banned them. Also made a bunch of dumb mistakes in the world. Fucking hell. Absolutely ludicrous. Maddening. That's, that's the word for it. That is genuinely the word for it. I, honestly, that's insanity. Fuck. That's just... That You're right, that is drama. That is definite drama. That must be frustrating. Uh, you, ooh, you're flashing. You, ah, horseshoe crab. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I need. Oh, some stuff turned to rot, and I'm not sure why. What was here? Oh, the other fish, of course. Well, discard that. I just sat with rotting fish in the hole for like a day and a half. Uh, up. I'm now going to go... Yeah, I'm going to try and go the correct way. It's that. It's that landmass right there. You, Mike, you can't miss it, mate. You genuinely... If you stuck on this path, you'd go into it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. Pretty sure. Anyway. Uh, you're around here, right? Yeah, you were. Uh, check you out, purple nipple. Sustain the mind, right, Grimace? Uh, yeah. 
The figure turns the crab over and exposes its soft underbelly. They scoop out its innards and sharp fingernails, consuming them blindly. Consume the sky. What do you want? A barrel eye? Have I caught a barrel eye before? Am I going to have to search through my little book of fish? Uh, can I just search by abyssal, please? Abyssal. Barrel eye, barrel eye, barrel eye, barrel eye, coral eye, barrel eye. <laughs> oh no, I have not caught it. But it's near Stella Basin, apparently, with a rod. So, it's, I assume it's that one. Let's go and have a search by Stella Basin, which I think is just over here. And now we've got all of the engines. We can go wherever the hell we want. However quickly we want. It's a whale! Hi, oh, whale. Didn't know I could speak whale, did you? I can speak whale. Uh, so I need a rod. Hang on a minute. Coastal mangrove. Coastal shallow. I've completely made a mistake. I need a rod that can sustain abyssal fish. Abyssal fish. That's what I need. You're going to be like dead easy to find as well, aren't you? I just never had a rod that does it. If I can find them on the way, that would be lovely. Uh, that's dredge. I don't, I don't, I genuinely don't need any dredge anymore. No, I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you. Oh, I do want to avoid that. I'm pretty certain something horrific happens if I go over that. Uh, Webby. Oh, I've gone past the pontoon. No, I was heading towards the village. Meow. Hard to skirting board. No. Instantaneous stop is what we like. Uh, right. So, shipyard. I could do with... But that's a winch, not a... Oh, that counts as a rod. Oh, okay. Oh, in that case, I can. I absolutely can do that. Uh, oh, hang on. Volcanic and shallow. Oh, yeah. Cool. I've already got one. Can you... Attach that for me? Tar. Thanks so much. Uh, that can go in storage. That can go in storage. Uh, now, where is barrel eye going to be? Where is barrel eye? Now, some abyssal fish were out here. So let's go check out here first. What are you? You're not. You're a loose jaw. I recognize that thingy anywhere. That um, silhouette. I've played Who's That Pokemon before. You're an anglerfish. Give me any Who's That Pokemon from Gen 1 and I'll nail it first try. Absolutely no doubt. Any of them. Uh, you're a squid of some description. You are glowy fish. Also squids. I might check... I might have a go on the repulsion machine, actually, just to see... What is that? Oh, it's the, it's the research post. I was like, is that a new place? No, it's not. Also a squid. This is unfortunate. Oh, that's sand. That's land. That's not what I want. Shall we have a, a cheeky toot on the old repulsion machine? <laughs> oh, what's that? That's squids. Squids, squids, squids. Squids, squids, squids. Squids, squids, squids. Squids, squids, squids. That is the research station. That's what we want. And immediate stop. <laughs> Love the brakes on this boat. <laughs> Definitely not how that normally works. Generator. Use those uh, yes. Activate the repulsion machine. So that should get rid of the the horrible tentagribbly for a bit so we can go and fish in this bit. Which hopefully will mean I'll be able to catch... What are you? What I need. Ooh, are you... You, I don't know if you are. No, you're Hadal. So you're a, you're a snailfish. I don't need a snailfish. I don't need that either. I don't need that. That's also a snailfish. I'm just going to do slightly bigger circles around this bit to see what I can find. What's this? That's the same snailfish. <laughs> the problem with doing circles. I will inevitably catch the same fish. Um, I 
Is that dredge? Oh, that's a salvage. That's a trinket. I'll have that. I don't even know what that is. So I'll have it. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. It's a... Oh, it's a, a citrine ring. Mmm, spicy. Are you going to be a daytime fish? Am I going to need to wait here until it's daytime? Oh, it is daytime. Excellent. Right. Are you? Have you all changed places? No, that's still thingy. And you're still not the fish I need. What about you? You two. You three, even. What are you three? You're not the fish I need. You're not the fish I need. <laughs> Sensing a theme here. You're also not the fish I need. Okay, let's try it outside of here. Because that's where our angler fish was. It could just be as simple as being something like over here. Uh, that's not going to be abyssal fish, is it? That's coastal. This is abyssal fish. How dark that is. Oh, no. But that looks like a piranha. Red eye fish? No, you're the loose jaws. What are you? You look big. Oh, you're a hammerhead shark. Oh, I'll catch you. You've not done nothing to me. I'll leave you be, mate. Uh, oh, what are you? Again, a hammerhead shark. I find a lot of hammerhead sharks all of a sudden. They say there are plenty of fish in the sea. Some say he's still fishing to this day. You are also a shark, I can tell by the silhouette. I knew you were a shark. And... And then there was another shark. And then there was another. This is going to be coastal, isn't it? You're not going to be a vessel. You're, co you're a coastal fish, how dare you? What are you? You're... Wait, no, you're coastal fish too. You're rubbish. Get out of here. What are you? You're an anglerfish. Dang, nabbit. You're a loose, the loose jaw. And they said moose jaw then. That was the wrong thing to say. What are you? No. I mean, you kind of look like the fish I'm looking for then for a split second. But I've been wrong before. Uh, what are you? Oh, no, you're coastal. You're not the fish I'm looking for. Nope, a red snapper. I'm definitely looking for that fish on that. Like, let me just have another quick look at this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's that. Stella Basin. Don't know about day daytime. Oh, night and day with a rod. Yeah, pretty sure that's the fish I want. Are you going to be anglerfish again? You are anglerfish. I can tell by the big light. The big old light. What if they're near the research place? Oh, what's this? No, you're a shark. I can tell you. If I can see you from a distance, you're too big to catch. <laughs> see? I just realized that research post has guns on it. Uh, that's... Oh, it changed because it's gone to a different time of day. I see. That's a terrifying looking fish. Oh, that's also a hammerhead shark. Give me a second. Creaky floorboard. I just have to shut the window because it's raining. Uh, right, okay. Let's make this a little easier on myself. Yes. What one am I looking for? Uh, this one. A barrel eye, that's what I'm looking for. A barrel eye. Not a coralline, a barrel eye. B A R R E L E Y E. Oh, okay. 
I am nearly there, actually. East. That's where I need to go. I need to go east. Sploosh. So. Yeah, I'm not that fast. I mean, I am if I do this. <laughs> I'm like a rocket in the water. Oh, no. I need to turn my thing off. There we go. Whew. Safe from ghost farts. We're all safe. We're all safe. Right, yeah, so around here somewhere. Hello. I'd like to catch this fish, please. Yeah, lovely. Pow, pow. Got one. Uh, is that a normal barrel eye or an abyssal farm? Uh, an aberrant one. That's an aberrant one. A void eye. Oh, my God. Okay, let's head back to Munchie McGee, and we can give him the fish we've just caught. Meow. Splish. 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 Oh, like, you can see the engines going and everything. Chugga, 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 chugga. Uh, it's this island? It's this island. No, you don't, Ghost Fart. You don't get me today. Uh, they are there. There they are. Hello. Consume the sky. Slowly reveals the final scroll. Can I give you an aberrant one? Is that gonna... I can! The figure begins consuming the fish head first, gnashing teeth, searching for the heart of the thing. When the fish is halfway gone, they stop and throw it aside. They take a book from inside their robe and give it to you. P pushing the limit, engines added to a cabin. Sky will fall. They cross their arms and pits fall into a deep sleep. Ah, uh, ha. Huh. Just fed someone an aberrant fish. That's not going to end badly for us at all, is it? Uh, oh, so that's, that's him done. Catch rare fish. Goliath tiger fish. Let's have a look. Goliath tiger fish. Goliath tiger fish. Goliath, not Goliath. <laughs> Goliath, A T H. That's how you spell Goliath. Goliath tiger fish. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a very specific spot. Okay. No wonder I haven't bloody caught it. Now i got to go here into this ravine specifically. So north. North is where I want to go. I want to go north. This way? This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Oh, hello. Catch me if you can. <laughs> See you later, chump. I should probably let my dude rest until morning, once I get to the thingy. Uh, Hasten. Hastan. Uh, stop. And boop. <laughs> Instantaneous stop. Uh, right, rest. Uh, you probably rest for like an hour more until the eyes close at the very least. There we go. Now you're fine. Fun fact, it only takes like two hours to reduce all of your panic. So, not that way. It is this way. And then we go around. Oh, is it around here, maybe? No, it's not, but whatever. <laughs> oh, I need a bomb for it. Of course I do. Do I not have a bomb? Do I have any explosive? I don't have any packs explosives. God damn it. Back to the pontoon. I wonder if they sell packs explosives. I love how nippy this boat is now. Okay, so... To the pontoon! Shipyard? No, that's the research bit. Shipyard? No, nope, no. Nope. Yeah, you have packed explosives. I'll buy packed explosives off you. Thanks so much. 
it's quite helpful that normally they, they do carry the stuff you need. Although, it's also nice to know that there are more resources available than you actually need to upgrade everything. Because we've upgraded our boat to the max, right? And we now have... We still got, like, refined metal left over and loads of, loads of dredge, so... It's nice to know that they do give you more than you actually need. So I was talking to someone um, who is doing almost like a hardcore run of it and not buying any resources. They're only... Oh, my God. They're only uh, using what they can find or are gifted. Goliath Tigerfish. That'll do it. So, yeah, I um, I mean, firstly, that's very impressive. Secondly, it's good to know that when they get to this point, they'll, they'll be like, ah, actually, no, there, there are more. Because you can find enough. I know you, there are enough wild in the world. You don't have to buy one. Um, so they'll be able to uh, to actually upgrade their boat fully. Right, this is this would be your quest complete then, Travelling Merchant, won't it? This would be like the end of an era. Travelling Merchant. Uh, those fish you wanted. Hmm. I found oh. a glad tiger fish. That's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. Thanks. That's that's all of them. Wow, I never thought I'd complete these records. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Nope, I'm good. Thanks. You can buy this giant fish off me, though, that you've been looking for. There we go. Uh, right. Tablets. That's the next one, isn't it? Tablets. Tablet. Ancient Lighthouse, Stone in the Sky, Tablets, Stone Tablet. Oh, there are only three. Okay. Okay, cool. So one, where's Stone Tablet 2? Two, two and three. They're all around Devil's Spire. Okay, sweet. Cool, let's go to Devil's Spire then. Spine, not Spire, Spine. Go to Devil's Spine. Uh, which is going to be, yep, literally due east. I wish there was an auto, auto drive function. Oh god, don't drink and drive, kids. It's a whale! Hello! See? He answered me. Okay, so they look like they are here. Here. And here. And I know I've got at least one of them already. So we're going to go over to I think of who it is. Sure, why not? Oh, don't go dark already. Oh, hello. Oh, are you are you another one? You are another one. You approach a hooded figure. They're standing expectantly. Vermilion red robes blowing in the wind. Fishermen serve. What do you need? Deliver the vessel. That's a cusk eel. A cusk eel, which is volcanic, which should be around here somewhere. Uh, while I'm here, I might as well have a quick look. Just to see if there's any here. Are you eels? No, you're not. Let's do the stone tablet thing first, because otherwise I'll get distracted. Oh, am I going to have the, am I going to have the dread, the equipment for this? Is that dredge? That's dredge. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hate these guys. Forgot how much I hated these guys. <laughs> the statue was staring at me. Is this somewhere else that needs explosives? 
It is somewhere else that needs explosives. Okay. I need to go back to a pontoon, which is down there. I could also do with getting rid of these little buggers. Follow the magma. Oh no, I actually went fast enough so it didn't it didn't keep following me. That's really nice. <laughs> That's really useful. Uh, let's go get ourselves more explosives. I wonder if we're going to need more than one. Oh, I didn't realize this is where all of the other crop pots were. So, let's... Uh, what do I need? Shipyard? Yeah. Yes. You've also got one. Good. Rest. Uh, you can probably rest for a smidge more. Just a smidge, mind. Uh, now go back here. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on a second. Why don't I just try and find this one first? Uh, no, thank you. Go away. Is this one also going to be behind thingy? Blocks. It is. It's there. I'm going to need two bombs, aren't I? Oh, no. Maybe not. Uh, oh, maybe. Oh, no. No, I'm not. I just need to go through this bit. Nice. Stone tablet. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Right. Let's get away from these quite quickly. <laughs> this boat is so overpowered. Uh, right, let's go over here. So this must be the one I haven't got, because obviously I need a thingy for it, a bomb. So, I'm hoping I can see where it is better. Aha, it's there. I can see it better in the daytime. Uh, no, don't crash, please. There we go. Yes, use explosives. Thanks. Kabloom! And ow, damage my hole. Beautiful. Right, take these back to thingy. Oh, it's as if that damaged the hole. I've got, like, rubber rings around the edge. You sod. Right, let's go back to... Wait, is that going to be... Am I going to have gotten that one? Let me just double check. Let me double double check. I know I've double checked. Let me double double check. I'm going the wrong way. I'm not going the wrong way. I'm doubting myself now. I'm completely doubting myself. Oh, no, I've knackered my engine. It's the greed. It's the greed what got me. Just pootle along, really. Like, just just limp. Just limping through. Don't mind me. I'm just going to limp to the pontoon. Oh, dear. Right. Get this. Hey, get, get out of it, you. Absolutely get knotted. Shipyard, yeah. I've, br I've sprung a leak. I've sprung a couple of leaks, to be honest with you. Uh, have I got fish? No, I don't. I have tablets. <laughs> right, so around here. Yeah. Uh, so somewhere here should be. If it's there, it should be here. But I'm pretty certain I got the third one. I got one of them, definitely. <laughs> Oh, God. Hello, question results. How are you doing? <laughs> Can I talk to you about your engine's extended warranty? Thank you very much for the t 17 months. Jesus. That's insanity. It's good to see you, man. It's good to see you. How are you doing? How are you holding up? Uh, do we think... Is it going to be in there? Oh, I don't need that, do I? There's a fucking door right there. There's a, there's a door right here. Uh, uh, yeah, see? I can thread that needle. It's fine. It's not going to be through there, is it? No, I've been through there. It's fine. I'm so, I'm going to say we've got it. 
to be honest with you. I'm going to say we, we picked it up earlier. We'll go back and see at the... Where's thingy? Banish? No, not banish. Manifest. That's what we need. Uh, where about that? The trader in Little Marrow. That's who needs it. Now beyond the... Oh, God. Dry now that I'm not on a cliff trying to fix Wi-Fi in sea fog. God damn, you lead an interesting life, mate. <laughs> trader. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay, if you see. I've got some more stone tablets for you. The trader state takes the stone tablet from you and lays it on the table next to the others. Hmm. Judging by the age of the stones and the shape of the glyph, these are part of the same set. I'll keep this for now until you come across any others. It looks like they joined together to form some square. And hopefully there's just one more to find. Oh, you've got another. Wonderful. Let me see. The trader takes the stone tablet from you and places it alongside the others. He turns them over and arranges them into a square. On the undersides of the tablet, new glyphs begin to form, casting an eerie light into onto the low ceiling. Hmm. Yes, go on. He begins transcribing the glyphs onto an old scrap of parchment, each stroke appearing to demanding to demand excruciating concentration. After a few minutes, he puts down his pen and reads aloud. When the sky mistakes the stars and the air grows thick with night, the deep will open its scars. Protect us, O oh guiding light. I, only, I know of only one guiding light, but these tablets predate the lighthouse at Great Marrow by centuries. The fragments are fused together now. Why don't you take this back? In theory, they should open a lock somewhere, like the ancient lighthouse. An intriguing mystery. Do let me know if you make any progress. In the meantime, do you have any trinkets for me? Yes, you can have this ring. Thanks. And this pile of rot. Oh, you don't like rot. Got it. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, cheeky snooze. That'll do. And then... How shall we get eaten today? By travelling out at night. I'm going to go to... The Ancient Lighthouse. So the, the plan at the minute is really... Kind of to... To... Clean up the rest of the quests. I think I'm only... Oh no. I think I'm only missing a couple of quests. So... And then I'm going to go... I am reliably and anonymously informed, as in there were no spoilers, uh, that there are multiple endings, but there is a point of no return. And I'm at that point of no return, so I'm happy just sweeping up the rest of these quests. Now we've also got a super boat as well. That's going to make it a lot easier. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Let's not drive into the rocks. <laughs> Let's not sea drive into the rocks. Uh, right. Lighthouse. 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 Oh, I'm going the wrong way for the lighthouse. It's there. It's literally the big building right there. <laughs> Music in this. Mm. Zoom. Zoom. And burn the fish. Uh, aha, there. That's where we want these little steps. Yeah, go on, fuck off, mate. Instantaneous handbrake stop. Uh, the ancient lighthouse. You climb as many steps to lean up to the lighthouse at its base is a solid stone door. You can't see a handle, but there's a large socket carved into the face of the door. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. The fused tablet clicks into place and the door rumbles before sliding aside. Step inside. You step through the doorway of the ancient lighthouse. The stairway to the top has collapsed. This is as far as you're going to get. Around you are a number of dusty objects. Some of them look valuable. Lovely. What is that? Flame of the sky. Impossibly bright for such a compact design. It's a torch. I'm just going to install it now. And some goblets and some rings. Excellent. You take everything from the room. <laughs> you absolutely loot the room for everything it's worth. Uh, how's How does this look? Ooh. I mean, in fairness, it doesn't look any brighter. But I'm sure it is. We already had a pretty bright thing. 
a pretty bright torch. So, a cusk eel. I need a cusk eel. I'm getting a cusk eel from. Let me just consult my notes. <laughs> cusk eel. Cusk eel. Nighttime fish. Volcanic nighttime fish. Okay. Do, can I catch volcanic at the minute? I cannot. In the slightest. Right. To the pontoon. To the pontoon. Can I squeeze through here? Of course I can. You see me? I'm Speedy McGee. <laughs> oh. I wonder what happens when you get hit by lightning. I mean, not like, not in real life. I know what happens when you get hit by lightning in real life, but. Oh dear. Oh, I've angered something. Oh no. Can I just shake these loose now? I'm, I'm so fast. Look at me go. Look at me go. What is that? Oh, nothing. It's just the waves. I thought it was a big hole in the sea. I thought something was going to come out and try and eat me. And popped it. Right. Um, teeny rest. And then shipyard. Yep, thanks. And then... Where are we? Volcanic. That's what I want. Oh, I can equip both. Oh, my God. And night time, and now it should be over. Oh, no, I don't want to be near those fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, lovely. Uh, it should be over here somewhere. It should be around here. Are you around here? Are you this, by any chance? You could be this. I don't know if you are, though. You are. You don't look like an eel under the water, I'll be honest. Uh, you're not. You're a frilled shark? I'm sorry? What? <laughs> it's supposed to be a nighttime fish. And it's going to be up here. Yeah, about here, apparently. They're not... They're not the fish I'm looking for. They're definitely not the fish I'm looking for. These might be the fish I'm looking for. Go away. These look like eels. A cusk eel. Yeah, lovely. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here before mummy fish turns up. Go on, get lost. Uh, right. Uh, is this... Oh, treasure. I will always stop for treasure dredge. Always. It's another cup. Lovely. Uh, collect the whole set. Now, wow, that was really close to the pontoon and I never noticed it before. Weird. So, the cusk eel was going to go to the person on the rock, weren't they? Uh, between Twisted Strand and Devil's Spine. I think was there. I think they were here somewhere. So, let me just go see if I can find them. Is it easier... Eh, I say, eh, well, maybe. Uh, it might be easy if you go this way. No, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the inventory button instead of the uh, light button then. Oh, I'm going a little bit insane. Oh, that's unfortunate. No, oh, that's very unfortunate, isn't it? I'm going to get ghost pillars and shit. Right. So, now if I... Oh, try not to die. Try your best not to die, mate. Uh, wait. Oh, no, it was here. Wait, can I rest here, actually? Is that a thing I can do? It is. No, rest a bit more. <laughs> there we go. Now we're safe and sound. Now we can go this way and not smash into the rocks. This island. There we go. Getting my islands all mixed up today. I don't know why. There they are. Crimson Robe Jerry. Crimson Cyril is his name. Hello. Deliver the vessel. There you go. Figure draws a ceremonial knife from his robe and slices into the fish, cutting out its heart. They place it on the stand in front of them. Bring down the sky. Another shape. I don't have one of those, do I? That's a sailfish. 
Where am I finding sailfish at this time of night? <laughs> sailfish. Sailfish. Oh, fortunately, just around the corner. Excellent stuff. You sort of, sort of just around the corner. There. Yeah, there. So, due south. Off we go. Let's try and make this corner. Yeah. Ooh, can we thread those two? Of course we can. You are seeing us. We're Captain Dredgy McDredgeface. It's just the right combination of chill and terrifying in this game. It's not even terror, it's more just tension, you know? Oh, hello. What's this? Hi. Oh, do I not get to know what that is? Is that just... Is that just a thing? Oh, no, this is the thing. This is the place where I um, rescued the survivor, wasn't it? The castaway. Castaway. They are castaways. Uh, is here? Yeah, it's, it's here. It's over here somewhere. A sailfish. That's what I want. Beautiful. God, you want a massive fish, mate, don't you? Jeez. And away we go. Anybody know any sea shanties? <laughs> I am unaware of any sea shanties. I probably should, considering we play a, a, a coastal-based pirate-themed D&D game. Uh, yeah, it was this way. I'm almost certain it was this way. Yeah, I can see them. I can see them in the distance. I see ya. I'm not going to risk that corner. I'll take this one instead. Thanks very much. Bring down the sky. Here you go. Farewell and adieu, all you fine Spanish ladies. Nice. The ceremonial knife comes out again, and a large heart is extracted. It's placed on the side beside the first. Raise the deep. Uh, I've got one of those. Here you are. God, that was lucky, wasn't it? They drag the shark's body around to find the right angle before plunging the knife in and pulling out the heart. They place it on the stand beside the others. Without looking at you, they take a book from inside their robe and throw it onto the sand at your feet. The figure kneels before the fish hearts and becomes still. You believe they decided they need any... You believe they... You leave before they decide they need any more hearts. Fair enough. Are they dead? Why does it look like there's empty robes on those rocks? Were, were there more of you originally? Right, so that's all of our things. And there's only two, that I think, that I'm missing. So what are the quests in Dredge? Let me just have a quick look. Dredge quests. The pursuit list. That's what we want. Court's order, we've got. Package delivery. And we've got a place to rest. I know we've got that one. Oh, there's a figure in gold. Which I assume is going to be one of the one of the other people. Lost at sea, we've done that one. A place to rest, lost at sea, castaway. Yeah, we've done that. Recording rarities. We got that one recording rarities yeah got that one best before yeah <laughs> delivered the rotting conga eel oh my god you do get peckish when you're in a court you absolutely do it's all that uh it's all that culting about um lost dog we did that one i'm pretty certain we did lost dog yeah and stone tablets we've done stone tablets as well interesting 
Court to order, package delivery, place to rest. Oh, uh, maybe the other one's a thingy, uh, a story quest that we've not done yet. Let me consult. Let me consult. Hmm, no, it's not. Hmm, interesting. There's an entire quest we've missed. Oh, I see. There's there's a person to speak to. So we need to speak to someone, which is... Where are they? Greater Marrow and Little Marrow. Here, near Steel Point. So we're going to go southwest. Sorry, one sec. Thought I had a noise, but I think it's probably my neighbour's kids throwing each other around like normal. Um, Southwest. This boat's so quick. Oh, my days. Uh, yeah, maybe? Oh, yeah, maybe it is that. Sure looks like that. Uh, let's do the boredom boost. And not make my engines explode this time. Nope. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So there's a person around here that I need to speak to, apparently. Is it this? Is it you? You pull up alongside the boat to anchor. There are signs of life on board, but no one appears to greet you. Hello! Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. Who, who goes there? A monster! <laughs> a fisherman. What do you want? I was checking to see if you are okay. Do I seem okay? No, I am very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Marrow, but I'm being stalked. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters. I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed the vessel whole had I not bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. Uh, I could deliver the package for you if you want. You, you would? Oh, that would be great. Large package. Address the dock worker at Little Marrow. It's dense, damp, and very sticky. The courier pushes a lumpy brown package through the door hole. It squelches slightly as you take it in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. This is a cult. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for the dock water at Little Marrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen, I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I hear the faintest of whispers coming from it. Now... If I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods, don't have the equipment for it. So just be careful with that thing, whatever it is. Mm. Hey, why don't you take this too? Getting over it with mind and body. <laughs> Again, an item emerges from the door hole. The door hole. Uh, this time a book is pushed through and thuds onto the deck below. You pick it up. I'll, I'll be on my way whenever the coast is clear. Safe travels. Okay. This is definitely... Not a trap. Oh, thank you. Ignore me, I've not got a light on. <laughs> you can just ignore me, I've got no lights on. <laughs> yeah, if you can catch me, mate. <laughs> if you can catch me, you can have me. Yeah, this isn't dodgy at all, is it? Not in the slightest. This is just perfectly normal stuff. Hello. How's the day treating you? I got a package for you. A delivery, eh? Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes the large package and examines it gently in his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Mm, much appreciated, friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, 
Wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word to you. Or compensation. Cool. Well, that was... That's that one sorted. <laughs> now, where's the person in purple? Where is the person in purple? Let me get that list up again. Pow, pow. Uh, nope, pow. Pursuit list. That's what I want. The These are timed, apparently. I don't know why. No person. Oh, gold robes. <laughs> gold robes on an island between Gale Cliffs and Stella Basin. Got it. Between Stella Cliffs and St Stella <laughs> Gale Cliffs and Stella Basin. Gale Cliffs and Stella. This is off, so one of these. This one probably. Right. So dead south. Uh, how's my sanity doing? I should probably rest a little. Just a couple of hours. That'll do him. And chuff, 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 chuff. And away we... It's a rock. I didn't know what that was for a second. Uh, and away we go. No phantom rocks, please. No phantom rocks. And you can ignore me. So it's... Yeah, dead south. That's where I'm going. No, thank you. No admittance except on party business. I'm going to guess it might be this campfire over here. Though I've been wrong before. Oh no, I think that's... Was that another photographer? <laughs> I was dead excited to meet and then I realised it was just photo mode. Uh, yeah, that's the photographer. Don't want that. Let's go check out this... What is that? Oh, it's just a rock. <laughs> Honestly... Thought that was something way more interesting than ah. I think I've just seen them on the right hand side. I thought it was some sort of building, like a cathedral. Wow, you are really easy to spot in those yellow robes, friend. Hello. You approach a hooded figure. Dirty gold robes obscure all features except for a pair of withered and blackened hands. Fishermen, deep calls respond. Their voice gurgles with the sound of fluid in their lungs. An answer. The hooded figure holds out a scroll. We tap at the shape depicted. It looks like a red snapper. A uh, red snapper. Okay. Red snapper. So about here is a red snapper. And I need a coastal rod. Or a coastal rod? I do have a coastal rod. Lovely. Uh, let's turn around. And then it's west. Yeah, towards Stellar Basin, right? Yeah, towards Stellar Basin. And then do the boredom boost. Pew. I keep forgetting I can just kill fish. I keep forgetting I've got that ability. The atrophy ability. Pew. Oh, I damaged my engine. Curses. This this might be the fish I need. This is the fish I need? A red snapper. Beautiful. Oh, I'm going to have to go get my boat repaired. I'm so slow. I want to say the pontoon is just around here, but I could be wrong. No, it is just around here. Just past this giant enemy crab. I didn't come up today. Brilliant. I clearly didn't skate close enough to it. Uh, where is Pontoon? Oh, I've just I've just gone completely. Bad. I've, it's on the other side of me. I didn't even see it. Let's go. Yum. Do you know? Can I just get all the fish? Because I can see the fish that they need right there. I might just get all the fish that they need. Thanks. Um, H3. I love how it's set out like battleships. H3. H3. Right, that one. Oh, crab pot. Are you joking me? A blue crab. A blue crab. You. Wait, have I not got a crab on it? No, I don't. A blue crab. Are you having a giraffe? Um, shipyard. 
Uh, I'll take not a net. Uh, crab pot. Where do you not sell crab pots? Oh, you don't sell crab pots. No, you suck. Storage. Do I have crab pots in storage? I do have crab pots in storage. Thank Christ. There we go. Uh, grab my other one as well, actually. It's probably one of the last ones we'll need. So, uh, have I got a spare thingy space? Engine space? No, I don't. That's unfortunate. Can't find space out. That's fine. I didn't need to. Uh, leaf and crab pots. Lovely. Hi, Phoenix. Hello. I got nothing for you, mate. Nothing but love, buddy. Nothing but love. You want to say hello to people? Hey. Oh, come here. Oh. Oh, you're such a chunk. You really are. You're such a big boy. You are. Say hello, chat. Hello, chat. He heard about the fish. Oh, God, now I'm wearing half a cat. <laughs> what t-shirt am I wearing? Oh, it's my five-finger death punch one. Got it. Uh, right. So, H3 is where we are going, and I'm not on game mode. There we go. Got it. <laughs> H3. You're just going to sit there and stare at me now, aren't you? He's fascinated with the TV sometimes. Right, especially, weirdly, um, in Anders' stream. He's fascinated with an Anders' stream. I think because she's playing Subnautica and he can see the fish. Are you what I want? You are indeed what I want. Good. Now let's go back and check the crab pots. Crab pots, baby. Crab pots. Do the bravery boost. Nyom. Don't blow up my engines. Ooh, none of these have got crap in. Curses. Come on. If I rest for a couple of hours, do you think that'll rot my fish? No. Are they now stale? No, they're still fresh. Have I got things in this? No, I don't. Curses. I'll do another couple of hours. Uh... Still fresh? No, now they're stale fish. Okay. Now I'm just going to take these fish. There. Have these got anything in? That one's got something in. What's this? <gasps> Blue crab? No, a glowing octopus. I don't want a glowing octopus. Go back. Uh, I'm going to go and give this person these fish that they want. Because otherwise they are going to rot in my hole. And I'm going to be super duper sad. And I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the long way round for some God only knows reason. Oh, no, that one. There we go. Danger? No danger. Danger? No danger. It's very weird. Oh, God, now I am going the wrong way. It's very weird that having my lights off is actually safer for me at night than not having lights. Like, darkness is safer for you than lights. Especially in a game like this, like you'd assume you need lights, but yeah, just just brings you madness. The things that the thing, things that go bump in the night just completely ignore you if you've not got your lights on. Right, good. Neither of them are rotted, which is good. Are you rotten though? No, you're just stale. Good, 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 good. So not that one because the photographer on the left hand side. It's on the right hand side here. and signal them. Uh, you're here, though, aren't you? In this little bay? Yeah, you are. An answer. Right, take that. Good. And now, another a sacrifice. Take that. And now, you require a blue crab. So I'll be back in a minute.
Uh, what's that noise? What is that noise? Oh, it's a giant monster. Oh, hi. <laughs> and in quite well, it was being followed by something. And now it's daytime and now I'm safe. <laughs> right, we'll go and rest for a couple of hours as well. Uh, we'll. We'll see if there's anything in the actual crap pots first. And then we'll go and rest for a couple of hours. Oh, hi. Oops. I like waking that thing up. It needs his exercise. Right. Got anything for me? Uh, blue crab. Brilliant. So now rest for a couple of hours. Get my sanity back. And then that's all of the missions done, other than the story ones. Uh, no, not fish market. No, 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 no. Just rest. There we go. Let's go. And I think it's this way. Yeah, it's around here. It's literally the way I just came. So hopefully I should remember that. And I'm just going to go east of this island. Because this is one of the islands connected to it, I believe. Yeah, not really. It doesn't really feel like that's a punishment. Like any, my panic is going up any faster. Sense an opening. Well, you can sense what you like, mate. They crack and bend the crab's legs apart and feast on the flesh inside. Lips still covered in crab flesh, they take a book from inside their robe and hand it to you. Answer given. We await summons. Is this, is this going to unlock the good ending? <laughs> they cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. Are you, are you four going to come to my aid at the end when I'm fighting the Kraken? Right, so let's go and have a word with Thingy, shall we? Uh, how do I do that? I go like this. Have a word with the Collector. Uh, so that saved it, I believe. Right, Ruin Mansion. What is it? Uh, oh, I haven't got the thing. Is my my storage here? Yes. There we go. Now I've got it in my inventory. Ruin Mansion. You climb the broken steps of the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Deliver the relic. You enter the house, carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. An excellent find. It demands pride and place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on the dusty table, candle wax pooling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. Uh, know what? It will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. I am ready. Warning, you're entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Warning, one more thing. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Are you sure you wish to continue? Yes. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, these seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Waiting for the right time. One o'clock in the morning. Excellent. Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry. On the open waters, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. The collector is aboard your vessel. 
uh, as in I also have all of the... Oh, no. So he has the... Okay. So he has the... Okay. Uh, well, let's go then. I... Okay. West of Greater Marrow. Oh, the lack of... The lack of music. Oh, it's the red light. The big, the big red light. Oh, oh God, there's a rock. I was going to say, oh, this feels exciting. It won't feel exciting if I crash. Is that literally where I just was? No. What? Is that a phantom island? That's a phantom island. That island doesn't exist. This island doesn't... Oh, oh, this island actually doesn't exist. Okay. Cool. Never seen that before. Weird. Uh, inspect. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us. And where we can get... We can at last bring her back. Only here, and only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. So... Is this the fisherman? I'm assuming this is the fisherman and it's the wife. Because they had the ceremony and then they were, they were going around the bay and all that sort of stuff. The notes that were picked up. So he lost his wife. And he's using dark magic to bring her back. I mean... Who wouldn't do that? But what could possibly go wrong? He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release the, la to release the lost one frozen in time. He throws the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, he throws a necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. He throws a ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens. He slots the key into the lock on the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. He throws the music overboard, its key left unturned. ghost event. Oh my god, it's Attack on Titan. Uh, can't help but think that that's probably not He's probably put that spell on a bit too high, you know? Oh, is that it? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, okay, so, uh, right, proper, proper end of the world stuff there. Right, so, bad ending. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess, bad ending. Right, where's that note? You're not sure that one. I'm not sure that's what they meant to do. Well, actually, that might be what they meant to do. I'm not 100 percent certain. So, so when we're picking up notes from the fisherman and his wife, because that's the only people whose notes we've been picking up recently. My guess is. Hey, Chris, how you doing? You just missed a hell of a ghost event. Um. My guess is that the fisherman's wife was lost at sea. And... Oh, because they, they discovered the coffin, didn't they? They discovered the coffin, they opened the coffin, and then the fog rolled in. Maybe we missed some notes. Maybe we missed some lore. Yeah, good to have you, Chris. How you doing? How's, uh, how's life been treating you? Right, so skip this. Continue. 
Right. What does my note say? Okay. Okay. Why am I looking for campsites? Why am I looking for campsites? Uh, map genie. No, thank you. Uh, remove. <laughs> Surprisingly, your life is void of horrors. That's why you're here. A uh, message. Message might be it. Hide all. Message. Yes, messages. Oh, wow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Because we also had a note from near the devil's spine, didn't we? That note where it said, bring her back to me. So I'm going to guess he lost his wife at sea. Something to do with the coffin. Don't really know. We're going to have a bit of a look around. I'd like to piece the story together before we wrap up. But I'm also told to go and have a look for uh, camps. And I don't know why. Camp. Oh, okay. Makeshift dock. Got it. Got it, got it. So one there, one there, one there, and one there. So let's go have a look at these. Okay, okay. We're back on track. And now we've got, like I said, mega speedy. Oh, I do not know how I missed that. I was certain I was going to slam into that rock then. So which one are we near? We're most near this one. So let's go here first, so south. So the plan, basically, I have been told, find campsites, or search campsites, uh, and I'm... Um, I'm now piecing together that I need, probably need to find more um, notes as well, actually. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to have a look for messages. Messages. Message. No? Okay, cool. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that, game. Uh, messages, 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 messages. There we go. And dry dock? No. Other miscellaneous, no. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I want. Awesome. So, where am I at the moment? I am ha. I uh, yeah. So I'm going down here. Lovely stuff. And then, like this. Is it this? Is this what I want? This looks like a camp. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've searched this camp, but you never know. There's an actual fire here now, which is quite nice. Uh, you undock next to an old robo. Somebody is here. He's hunched over the camp by the campfire, muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. Did you? Did the old mayor? <laughs> did you? Did you throw it back? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The book. I think he was thinking of someone else. I I don't understand. I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Uh, who do you think I am? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him. Him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old book. But something, something cloaked in fog followed it out. Right through the boat. Boom! The man makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands. Still talking to the fire as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke. It spoke. It was coming for our breath. That we wouldn't be needing it soon. And then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on shore. And him, still clutching the book. 
throw it back, we cried as the fog rolled ashore. We thought, surely it can still be undone. What are you talking about? Silver and crimson, the book covered in her blood. You're not making any sense. Throw it back. The man closes his, closes his eyes tight as he holds back tears. His voice falls to a whisper. Please, the lighthouse keeper. She saw. She knows where it came from. Where it, where it needs to go. Tell me more about this book. Silver and crimson. Silver and crimson. He rocks back and forth, staring through the flames. What do you know of the fog? It cloaks that calamitous thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? What does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? She saw it all. That ruinous day. Ask her. Beg her. Tell her I... He trails off. His face collapsed in sorrow. Okay, so we found the old mayor. Cool. Now I'm going to go and speak to the lighthouse keeper. I'm going to get... Does that... No, okay, it doesn't update anything. Cool. I'm gonna go speak to the lighthouse keeper. Oh, oh I've left it a bit late, haven't I? Curses. I'm sure we're fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. I just gotta be on the lookout for phantom rocks. Ghost rocks? I gotta slow down. Ghost rock? Jesus. Ghost rock. Lighthouse keeper? Lighthouse keeper? What does the new mayor have to say about the old mayor? Hello. Hey, what can I do for you? Wider region, shipwrecks in the area, strange occurrences. No, okay. What is it? What do you know about a silver and crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. Mm. You're really asking me? After all this time? You know it must be returned. She looks at you with a deep pity. You have to move on. For her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. Oh, I get it. Right. Wait, well, hang on. Does that unlock something new here? With the... The collector? Alright, so that's saved. Oh. Uh, no, not on dock. <laughs> One day, I will figure out the controls to a game completely. Not today, though. There we go. Ruined mansion. You climb the broken stairs to the old mansion. The waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. Uh, I will conceal the relic. What is it? Tell me about that book of yours. Which book? This one here? With a wry grin, he pulls the dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said about histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite a chore. Mm, I, I think... Okay, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a prediction that actually it's our wife and we're part of this collector's uh, kind of actions. Whether it's the book has manifest someone to control us to do a ritual under the guise of oh well you know resurrect this elder god and we'll bring your wife back for you promise mate or it's some sort of split personality thing where actually he's telling himself to go and find these relics. And the reason I think that is because when I took him, he didn't weigh anything. And every other character that's come on board the boat, I've had to put on the boat. <laughs> like the dog, like the thingy, maybe just enjoys reading books. Maybe just enjoys reading books. I don't know. Don't play dumb. You know which book I mean. Play dumb? Your hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Mm. Go ahead. 
ask us. Where'd you get it? Sparkling dust and motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Who? You wanted to forget. Begged me. Same person. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me that book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Take the book. As you step closer through the crackling room, the collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. It's a mirror. Oh. <laughs> of course it is. That's really clever. You're pathetic. The book of the deep is in your hands now. Understand this painfully before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. <laughs> we wield the power to release her from her slumber. She dead, mate. Sorry. We can undo everything. Undo what you did. Rune Mansion, you climb the broken steps of the old mansion, the waves swelling and crashing on the bounce pillar. Yep. Deliver the relic. No, I'm good. I'm good. Conceal the relic. Uh, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> Where's she going to go? I don't have the book, but I do have the necklace. So I am... I'm going to go speak to the lighthouse keeper. Because she's the only other person who has said something interesting recently. Unless... Yeah. Hello. I have the book. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now it's time to act. Do you still remember where it happened? In that gloomy darkness behind the bay? When you're ready, I'll point the way. I'm ready. Warning, you are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Do you wish to leave? Yes. Warning, one more time. Your progress will not be saved from this point onwards. Are you sure you wish to continue? Yes. You must wait until night is thickest. Until the ocean is as, is, is as it was. Blah, 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 blah. Is as it was all those years ago. Well, that's not very long. It's time. I'll point the way. Follow my light. Go and do what's right. For her, throw it back. Uh, okay, okay. So... Get rid of the book. Get rid of the book. Before bad side of my psyche takes over. I'm going to assume it's... Yeah, it's exactly the same spot that we need to go to. Only now, it's a it's a white light and not a red light. It's a lighthouse light and not a, not a spooky column of red doom light. This is the place. Throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp, its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. I'm going to die. You throw it into the foaming water. Sploosh. Oh. Oh dear. The lights have flickered off. It's a ghost event. Oh. It's not the first time that's happened to us, I'll be honest. <laughs> Mm. 
but the fog has cleared. Interesting. So that's... Do we think that's the good ending? That's the good ending. See, nothing's on fire. The lighthouse isn't broken. And there's no fog either. Right, GG everyone, GG. Well done. That was really something special. Really, really something special. Yeah, exactly, sacrificial ending, yeah. I don't think it was ever gonna turn out well for him. Like, so the, the fisherman got the, the thing up. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mrs. Pizza. Uh, the fisherman got the coffin and the book and the book when he lost his wife, made him made him go on that journey, basically. And there's the, there's the two sides of him. I mean, I've 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 known someone who has who has lost themselves to grief, and that's that's very similar. You know, they have two different personalities. That personality is split into the one that just wants to sort of forget, and the one that wants to absolve or you know uh, blame someone. So I can. I think that might be why I made that assumption immediately that and like i said when he when he said i'll accompany you and he didn't he wasn't an item on the boat i was like are you are you in my head are you a ghost that was my initial impression i was like are you a ghost of some sort but yeah really enjoyed that really really enjoyed that and i can't believe i've done it i did such a nice feeling to actually play a big game as well as play little indie horror games but if you're a fan of little indie horror games and you're watching over on youtube then don't forget to check us out on twitch every tuesday and thursday 5 till 9 p.m bst and gmt uh where we all play a collection of indie horror games and occasionally dive into a big semi spooky or spooky game like this but i hope you've enjoyed watching this half as much as i've enjoyed recording it but for now stay safe stay spooky and i'll see you next time Thanks very much.